Welcome to the tutorial for the Lighting System Selector. The offline mobile application from Future Lighting Solutions enabling you to quickly select the system components such as the light source, LED driver, optic, holder, heat sink, and control solution to develop a luminaire. The Lighting System Selector effortlessly processes thousands of products to suggest the most appropriate options based on application requirements. The app also generates PDF and Excel reports that function as your custom-made brochure to start the Luminaire design process. The starting point of the Lighting System Selector is the Market screen. Here, you'll select between three principal markets – Indoor, Outdoor, and Specialty. Let's select the Indoor Market. The application screen generates a visual list of applications within your selected market. Let's select Troffer and Linear Application. The design screen lists subcategories of the selected application. Each design option covers a unique combination of light source characteristics, as well as performance and reliability specifications. Let's select Value Troffer. The Light Sources screen lists the applicable light source technologies. It also displays the design's basic performance requirements at the bottom of the screen. You can hide this bottom menu by tapping on the arrow. By tapping on the filter icon, you can modify the design specifications, which will impact what light sources will be displayed. You can also change the default light source sorting parameter from Efficacy to Flux by tapping on the Sort icon. Let's select a 5000 lumen troffer at 4000 Kelvin and 80 CRI. To display the light sources, expand one or many light source technologies by tapping on them. You will also notice, via the Flux and Efficacy bar charts, their relative values compared to other light sources within the same technology. You can toggle between two drive currents, which will recalculate the light source performance values. Let's assume that we want to design a 5,000 lumen, 4-foot troffer with 2-foot boards, where 4 boards will be leveraged per luminaire. This means that we're looking for an over 1,000 lumen board, where we have found a potential candidate. If you have an internet connection, you can download the datasheet by tapping on the datasheet link. You can also optionally refine the light source parameters by tapping on the More Options link. Let's tap on More Options, which will open a new window. Here, you can adjust the light source parameters via the sliders or by entering a value in the text box. The values in the results table will be instantly recalculated. By changing the current from 175 milliamps to 250 milliamps, the required board count decreased from 6 to 4, which meets the target specifications while minimizing cost and considering the assumed optical losses. Then, you can review the calculated results table and the various charts before tapping on Save. Back on the Light Sources screen, you can select the light source by tapping on it. Multiple light source selections are also supported. Let's tap on Next at the bottom of the screen to select the applicable system solution components. In the Ecosystem screen, for each selected light source, you can assign system solution components. The type of displayed system solutions will vary based on the selected application and light sources. As an example, for a downlight application with COB light sources, the ecosystem screen will also display applicable optics, COB holders, and heatsink options. For the value trough for design, let's select LED drivers by tapping on the Select Drivers button. By default, the drivers are grouped and sorted by output power. If possible, it's recommended to select drivers from the lowest power group 
as it's more efficient for the driver to operate closer to full load and lower power drivers are typically lower cost than higher power ones. Let's tap on the filter icon to refine the driver options. In the driver filter screen, some filters have pre-selected default options, such as input voltage, dimming signal, and certification mark, which are based on your selected country during the account creation process. These options can be modified in the settings screen by tapping on the settings cog icon at the top of the app. Let's set the is dim to off filter to true and the class filter to class two. You can also change the driver group sorting from power to manufacturer by tapping on the sort icon. Let's exit the filter screen by tapping outside the filter area or by retapping the filter icon. Let's expand the first power range group by tapping on it. You'll see that only linear drivers are displayed, which matches the requirements of the application. If there's an internet connection, you can download the datasheet by tapping on the datasheet link. Alternatively, additional offline information can be accessed by tapping on the More Info link. Let's select both 40 watt drivers by tapping on them, then let's tap on Done to return to the ecosystem screen. Both selected drivers are now displayed on the ecosystem screen. You can select additional types of system solutions, such as controls, by following a similar process. Let's tap on Generate Report at the bottom right of the screen. The PDF and Excel reports are generated and sent to the email address associated with your Lighting System Selector account. If there's no internet connection, the information will be stored on your mobile device until internet connectivity is restored, where the system will then generate and email the reports. The Lighting System Selector reports serve as custom-made brochures with embedded links to the datasheet of the system components that you have selected. You can leverage the reports to start a luminaire design or as a reference guide to leverage the future Lighting Solutions online tools such as the Lighting System Creator, Usable Light Tool, and Driver Selector Tool in order to further evaluate and refine your luminaire design. You can select a return to the market screen by tapping on Restart or to make additional selections by tapping on Continue Viewing. Let's tap on Continue Viewing. Finally, if you would like to adjust your light source selections, you can return to previous screens by swiping from left to right or by tapping on the menu icon at the top left of the screen. Thank you for installing the Lighting System Selector. If you have any questions or comments, please send us an email at flstools at futureelectronics.com.